Well, it's a time of healing and recovery today. High school football player Brandon Steberg shared for the first time after being injured in a game 10 days ago. WOWT 6 News' Josh Ryder says today has been an emotional day. Josh. John and Mallory, Brandon Steberg opened up to us for the very first time today about his experience. Doctors say he was at the highest level of sleeping before being dead. Now he tells us he's just happy to be alive after the scariest moment of his life. It made me cry every single time I saw it. I, I, I watched so many videos. I, I read so many posts. It just it touched my heart. It really did. It. Brandon Steberg says he feels lucky to be alive. I was dizzy. I was disoriented. I didn't know where I was at. I didn't know what I was doing. It was, it was, it was a scary time. I threw up a lot. It was scary. Very scary. Back on September 23rd, Steberg was playing football for Papua Vista High School against Creighton Prep. He was coming at me, I was coming at him full force, 100%, and it just jarred me pretty good. Steberg was in a coma for six days before he woke up. I, I thought I was waking up from a nap. I really didn't know what to think. You know, when he was sleeping, they didn't know what was going to happen, so. So we're just really happy he's okay. Brandon's dad, Brandon Steberg Sr., says it was the most terrifying time of his life. When his son went unconscious on the field, he had no idea what to think. Just waiting for the ambulance to get there, so it seemed like it took forever. For the Steebergs, it was the community's support that got them through. 100% why I feel the way that I feel today. It's a, very, it's a blessing. It's, I have thousands of people behind me. Steberg just hopes he can get back to the game he loves and his parents, though it may be hard, they agree. You know, you want them to do what they love. You know, that's, you know, that's the first thing I thought is I wish he never would have played football, but you know, that, I would have never stopped him from playing football. He loves football, so, you know, you want your kids to do you love, you just pray that it doesn't happen. Staying optimistic about the future. I have surgery coming up next week and then uh, hopefully next week and then I have I have rehab for a couple weeks and then hopefully school and then on with my life. Now, Steberg did have a CT scan today and doctors said if it went well enough, he's looking at surgery possibly next week and then he'll have two weeks of rehab before going home. But officials say he should be back to 100% in a year. We're live at Nebraska Medicine. I'm Josh Breider, WOWT.